So today we're gonna show you the secret of Rafa Nadal's success. So there is something that he does that is way that he does better than any other tennis player in the world, and is how to move from defense to offense. So today we're gonna teach you the best tips for how to improve the defensive game on your tennis. So the first thing that we're gonna be talking about to improve your defense is the footwork. What's the best footwork for defense? If you are on the forehand side, every time you are on defense, you're gonna end up hitting in open stance. So what is open stance? It's when you hit with your feet parallel to the baseline. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna get to the ball, you're gonna do the last step if you are riding with your right foot. And from here, you are gonna end up hitting. Sometimes, if you are on the run, you are gonna need to hit jumping. But every time you can, you are gonna try to stop, then hit the ball. Now, in case you cannot do it because you are completely on the stretch, what are you gonna end up doing? You are gonna probably end up jumping with the other leg. You are gonna hit the ball and after you hit, you are gonna do the other step and then recover. But that's for, to, for balls that you are completely on the stretch. Every time you can, you are gonna make sure that you do the last step with the right foot. So it's when you get with balance and once you get with balance, make sure you bend your legs and you hit and use your body. Now, if you are on the backhand side, it's going to be a little bit different, especially if you have a one-handed backhand. People with one-handed backhand, uh, they are really uncomfortable hitting the backhand here in open stance. So, even if the open stance is a little bit better efficiency-wise, you are going to end up getting to the ball, stepping here still with the right leg, on close stand this time, you are going to hit, you are going to do this step, and then you are going to be recording with the first crossover step. Now, if you have a two-handed backhand, I could really suggest you to work on your open stance backhand. Even if it's not the most comfortable shot, it's going to really help you to improve your defensive game. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to run to the ball, you're going to do the last step with the, right, with the left foot, and from here, like we did on the forehand, you're going to get here, hit the ball, and then do the crossover step. So even if you don't feel comfortable with that shot, make sure you practice it, try to master it, so this way it's gonna really help you on your defensive game. Now, if you are not super comfortable with it, you could also use the close stand on that backhand. But again, after you hit it, you're gonna need to do one extra step to recover, and it's gonna make you lose maybe half a second, that it might be, it might be the half second that you need to get to the next ball. So we talked about footwork, now we're gonna tell you where to hit when you're on defense. So we see so many players that they are on defense, let's say they are on the forehand on the run, they see their opponent all the way on the corner, what do they end up doing? They end up trying to hit a winner down the line with the forehand. Now, when you're on the run, you're on balance, hitting a down the line shot is super risky. So what happens most of times is they end up missing the shot, they end up losing the point. Even if they make it, so many times the other player is going to take their backhand, make them run to a cross uh, uh, with a backhand cross court, and they are going to be on the run corner to corner. Nobody wants to be on that situation. If you see, for example, Rafa Nadal, you will see that most of the times when he's on defense, if the other one is not at the net, he's going to hit very deep cross court, so it's where he can get into the point, and he doesn't need to recover all the way to the middle. When he goes down the line, it's because he is either completely on the stretch and he feels like even going cross court, he's going to keep running to the other side, or the other one is at the net. And going cross court is a little bit harder because the other one is covering in every angle at the net, and he ends up going for a winner down the line. But again, that's a very risky shot. And most of mortal players, we don't have as much talent as Rafa Nadal. So if I was you, I would really suggest you to go cross court. Now, there is another chance uh, that instead of going cross court, there is another way you could work on this, down, on this defensive shot. You could also try to go deep down the middle. Now, if you go deep down the middle, make sure you go very fast, because the other guy needs to feel like he needs to need to move backwards to get around and move around from the ball. If you hit down the middle short, he's going to be able to put it away. So, if you are working on the, on the middle shot when you're on defense, make sure you hit a very hard shot because we don't have time to move. There is a big advantage of hitting down the middle. You are not giving any kind of angles to the other guy. If you hit cross court and you open the court on the other direction, you are also opening an angle for them, making you run on that direction. Now, when you go down the middle, they need to move around and they don't really have any good angles to keep making you run. So if you are playing against a player with really good angles, instead of defending cross court, try to work a little more on the defense down the middle. Now, what kind of shot should you be hitting? So, 
Every time you go cross court, I would really suggest you, especially on the forehand side, to hit heavy top spin balls. Hit high balls way over the net. Make sure you have a lot of space with the net. Gain some time to recover. When you go cross court, you could definitely also hit fast cross court. But if you are playing especially against hard hitters, they are going to like this shot and it's going to be much easier for them to change down the line or even keep being aggressive going back here cross court. So the top swing high ball is going to help you to gain a little bit more time to recover and also don't give them any kind of pace. Now, if you go down the middle like we talked about, the shot is going to be a little bit different. The shot is going to be more flat and deep. So this way they don't have time to react, they need to move backwards and they need to move away from the ball. So they don't have any kind of angles and you could move and be in offense on the next shot. Now this shot is a little bit more offensive, so if you feel like you are completely out of balance, it may be a little bit harder for you to get it. Now, for those that you are completely out of balance, those that you are just reaching and you are barely getting to the ball, I would really suggest you to use the slice. So whenever you are out of balance, instead of trying to get to the ball hit topspin, you are not going to have any kind of power because the body is out of balance. What you are going to try to end up doing is on the last step when you are jumping or when you do the last step, you are going to try to just take the racket back and slice the ball pretty fast. So this way, even if it's not a very deep shot, the ball is going to stay very low and it's going to go pretty fast. It's going to be hard for the other one to go over or put a winner down the line because when the ball is low, then it's, uh, uh, the net is going to go higher when it's down the line and it's going to be harder for them to pull it away. So again, you are completely on the stretch, you can use the slice on the forehand side. Now, if you are on the backhand side, it'll be different. On the backhand, when you are on the stretch, especially if you don't have a very solid one or two handed backhand, it's easier for you to go with the slice. Make sure you go cross court with the slice so it's where they cannot make you run. If you go to a forehand, they will probably just hit a forehand cross court, they keep making you run. So make sure you use the slice, low slice cross court. You could either go deep, sometimes you could also go short for players that don't like running forward or don't like the net. You could go hit them a short slice, push them. And then after that, you will be able to move to neutral or often so many times because people don't like that slice, they just end up pushing the ball over the net and you can take the forehand on the next shot and put the ball away. Now, if you liked our video, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, we're going to have a course releasing really soon, so make sure you always check the description below. Thank you so much for watching.